What's good everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby Johnson here. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Baby Johnson Sports Podcast show. And in today's show, I'm going to be previewing the Lakers versus the Miami Heat game for tomorrow night on ESPN at 4 p.m. My thoughts about that game, let's talk about Laker Nation. My thoughts about that game, it's not going to be an easy win. Miami got a great group of talent over there. They got Jimmy Butler, Kendrick Nunn, Derek Duncan Robinson, they got Bam out of Bayou, they got Jimmy Butler, they got Deion Waiters at Kelly Olenek, they got uh, Miles Leonard, they got group guys compete at the highest level and compete. The, the Lakers need to come into tomorrow night's game with the mindset of let's dominate early. You know what I mean? Put the ball in the post, have Anthony Davis go to Anthony Davis go to work, you know what I mean? Um, nobody can guard Anthony Davis on Miami. Not Bam out of Bayou, not Miles Leonard, not Kyle Olenek, you know what I mean? Anthony Davis needs, needs to put up at least 35 points, 12 rebounds, 3 blocks more. He needs to dominate early. Let's get back to Laker basketball. Move the ball from side to side. And when you're up early, when you're up early, let's say 10 or 15, continue to pile on, continue to pile on, continue to pile on. Don't be up 24 and just relax. You got to come out, punch them in the mouth because uh, points per game that we score 113 to their 112 uh, points against we give up 103 points per game to their 106. So it's going to be a back and forth, back and forth. But um, they shoot 47% from the field as a team. We shoot 48% as a team. So we need to get off to a great start early, shoot the ball, get in rhythm, and um, blocks per game. They have 4.5. We got 7.0 a game. Um, steals per game, we have 8.8 .8 a game. They have 8.4. Um, we're on a five-game winning streak. They're on a three-game winning streak. The last ten games were ten, no. The last ten games were nine and one. They're seven and three. This team is not going to be. It's not going to be easy win. It's going to be tough. Jimmy Butler is averaging 21 points per game. He, he can score. He can drop 30 to 40 points. You know what I mean? He's shooting 43% from the field. So you have to force him to drive. Force him to have the other team try to beat you. Let let somebody other than Jimmy Butler try to score. And if he's open for a three, force him to drive. Force them to drive. Force them to drive. I'm gonna say this every time, Lakers. Force this team to drive on you, because giving up so many wide open threes at the very end. At, if you drive, if you force them to drive and you get beat, Dwight Howard, Javale McGee, Anthony Davis, I'm not back and gonna help you block shots. Anthony Davis leads the league in blocks. So if you get beat, and I want like if you get beat and Anthony Davis helps you out, it's okay. And then. The other thing too, stop letting the referees get in your guys' head. Because sometimes you guys will get fouled and look at the ref and stand there and then don't get back on defense. You got to get back on defense. Like, you got to get back in transition when it comes to if you don't get a foul call, don't look at the ref and stand there. A lot of times I see Anthony Davis do it, JaVale McGee, Danny Green, LeBron, Rondo, Kuzma. I see it. Basically, half the team. Stand and look and be like, foul. Get back on defense. Don't worry about that. It's going to happen. There's going to be fouls that are not going to get called. So don't let that get out your rhythm. Because I know a couple games ago, like two or three weeks ago, you let the refs impact, or against um, Dallas, you let the refs impact the game. You can't do that. You got to get back on defense, play defense, and force turnovers early in the first quarter. Get out to early lead, force a couple of turnovers at five or six, and get the points in the paint early. Get them early. Put the ball in the post. AD go to work. LeBron go to work. Javel McGee go. Let's put the ball in the post and get the big guys in foul trouble. And then LeBron do his thing. He's gonna facilitate like always. And we need to hit our open shots because last night we didn't even hit our open shots. There was a couple times where LeBron threw a no look bounce pass on us on the court yesterday to um, Jared Dudley, and he passed it to KCP, and then KCP pump faked and then like pump faked and dribbled in and said travel. You gotta make, if you're open, shoot it. I know the extra pass, but sometimes if you're open, shoot it. You know what I mean? But if they double team, kick it out. And I just want to see this team coming with the laser focus because this Miami Heat team is a team that people need to watch out for. They got, I know I named a couple players, but they got great coach, Eric Spolstra. They got Kendrick Nunn, great rookie. Tyler Hero can score 20 points. He can explode for 30 if he wanted to, but he might not play. Dragic is out. Justice Winslow is out, and Deion Waiters is out. And that Miami Heat team is going to be a battle. It's going to be a great game. For order us to win, we got to execute. Execute points in the paint, fast break points. Um, get out and transition, turn the ball, or force a turnover, get out and transition, throw a lot of dunks. Um, just love this team in general. We have a 
great group of veterans on this team. So if we get down 10 or 7 or let's say 7 points first quarter, don't worry. Lakers, don't worry. It's a long game. There's gonna be a game. There's gonna be a game on this road trip where nothing's going our way. Nothing's going right. The ball not going in the rim. Our shots are off as a team, but we're gonna find a way to win. We're gonna do the right things to execute. We're gonna turn it up when we need to. But this East, this my bro. I'm telling you, this Miami Heat team is talented. Jimmy Butler is. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy? Y'all gonna think I'm crazy? I'm gonna say it. Second best player in the East, Jimmy Butler. Second best player in the East, Jimmy Butler could get to the rim, pump fake, shoot to the mid range, do all this stuff. He has that like Kobe Bryant mentality, like he'll take over a game. He ain't scared of the big moment. But for what Lakers need to do is maybe double team him. Because a lot of times we double team players, they kick it out to the open to their other teammate, and sometimes the other teammate doesn't execute well. So what we need to do is force turnovers, trap, boxing out, offensive rebounding, because bam out of Bayou had a triple double last game he's capable of dropping 18 points 10 rebounds 10 assists he's an athletic get to the rim put back dunks block shots run the floor he's like a Dwight Howard in my opinion not like dominant but he has energy like can block shots rebounds and he's not afraid to guard anybody so what we need to do is get him in foul trouble early put the ball in the post I keep saying attack 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 and the three pointers need to go in tomorrow our mid range needs to go in Avery Bradley needs to step up I know it's his first game back yesterday the second game back will be tomorrow Overall, the bench needs to do a better scoring because Kyle Kuzma might be out longer than expected. Um, yeah, Rondo hopefully comes back. We got Alex Caruso to step up. Jared Dudley had a good game, nine points, three for six from the field. Love his intensity. We need this whole bench mob that we have on the bench to come together as a unit. Next man up, Troy Downs, to step up for Kuzma. How uh, Alex Caruso has been playing excellent, man. Very underrated defender, very underrated player in this league, man. Like, very underrated. He's like. The Cavalier, he's like a Matthew Delladova for us, like how LeBron had Matthew Delladova in Cleveland. It's like that, but I feel like Alex Crusoe is a better a better version of Matthew Delladova because Alex Crusoe gets grits and grinds, plays defense. Not saying that Matthew Delladova didn't, but I feel like Crusoe can score more than Matthew Delladova. You know what I mean? Get to the rim, get a layup, dunk it. What I'm saying is Crusoe is a bright spot for us, one of the bright spots from this season. It's him, it's Danny Green, it's the whole team. But for me, it's Alex Crusoe overall <clears throat> but I really want to see this team when you're up big I, can eat. I want to see this team if they're up big again like 24 or something I want to see us continue to do, move the ball Cause when we went up 31 to 11 in the second quarter we relaxed and got complacent eight turnovers they got they went on 18 to 5 run brought it back to 10 hit a couple three 13 and when we're up big I want to see us as a team in a collective unit Dominate early, close it out, have the Lakers chilling on the bench with ice on their knees, laugh, not laughing, but just excited for 23 and 3. You know what I mean? I just want to see this team execute. And here's, a, here's the scary part Kyle Kuzma hasn't found his rhythm yet. He's been injured. He is trying to figure it out. Once he figures it out, man, whew, look out. But a lot of people, a lot of Lakers fans are asking, do you think Lakers should trade for somebody or trade Kyle Kuzma? <laughs> nope. Don't trade anybody unless you get an, an offer that it's like. If you get an offer like, okay, if I get this trade, I might bring better chances of winning championship. Like, let's say, <clears throat> perfect example, Minnesota, not Minnesota. Memphis calls us and say, "I'll oh, give me Kuzma for Iguodala." Click. But if they say, "Give me Kuz or give me Troy Daniel, Jarrett Dilly, a second round pick," you pull the trigger. You're not trading Kuzma unless you get um, a good, decent veteran for Kuzma. I'm not saying that they have to do that, but if there's a trade out there that's presentable, if Kuzma needs to get traded for somebody else that can bring in more scoring or maybe a future pick or something, you do it. But right now, no trades. Don't trade anybody. But if an offer comes your way and it's hard to turn down and it's, you think it's best for the team, do it. Don't just make a trade because we're saying Lakers trade, trade. Do it for the best interest of the team. Feel me? Um, just overall, at the end of the day, everybody's been asking, where do you think Iguodala's gonna go? To be honest, Iguodala's staying in Memphis this season. They ain't gonna buy him out. They ain't gonna do none of that. So we need to move on from Iguodala. But the player that I want the Lakers to go get, if the Lakers do, are interested, Amon Shumpert. Amon Shumpert could play defense. He brings that toughness, spread the floor, shoot the three, but also, 
He brings that championship pedigree. And also, there's another name out there that I think the Lakers should go after and get Trevor Ariza. Trevor Ariza's in Sacramento. He brings championship toughness. If you put him on our team, put him in the bench, he brings that toughness. Maybe throw, maybe trade Jarrett Dudley for him or maybe trade one of the prospects for him. Trevor, Trevor Reese is a talented, still talented, can play at a high level, play that wing defense on uh, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, James Harden, Westbrook. We need more, more de long defenders. So those are the two names that Lakers should go get, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Just really looking forward to the game tomorrow. Excited, the Lakers are playing great basketball. Um, it's a long process, so everybody's asking me, oh, the Lakers are locked on the title. One game at a time. One game at a time, one day at a time. You feel me? But I'm gonna end this Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast show. Um, I'm gonna leave all my social media link in the description. And if you're new to my podcast, subscribe to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast show. Leave a like, share it, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and turn on those post notifications. I love interacting with my Laker Familia. You know what I mean. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to all my supporters out there. Appreciate all you guys, man. But until then, have a great day.